Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see collaborative development in Power Apps. Mostly it is related to the Canvas application. And as we know, in Canvas application, there is a one major limitation where multiple developers could not work on the same time on a same app. And to over this, uh, this, uh, uh, this limitation, uh, Microsoft Power Apps just recently launched the JIT setting, uh, which in a background it creates a repository, and uh, our apps uh, entire app code is uh, saved into that repository. And with the help of repository, multiple developer could work on a same time on a same same app. Uh, so we will going to see on the all the practical scenarios in this video and this is and folks if you want to go ahead with some more details like how to connect with the jit hub also so you please you can go ahead and refer this blog this is my blog where i have maintained all the details uh, uh, related to the repository how and uh, azure repos as well as so you can find those all these information in this uh, repository and in this video i will uh, just mention this uh, url in that uh, video and you can directly go ahead and uh, read all the details from here all right so let's start with the practical so this is my uh, power app application i simply created one uh, uh, application it is just a bunch of a couple of uh, text boxes and one submit button is here and i while working on this app i want one more developer who could help me to speed up some things on power app so i could deliver a little bit faster so i want one more developer who can work on the same app on the same time so in uh, see normal scenario, what we do, like, you know, the first, what, what the one thing that we come up in mind, like, you know, we can share this app to the other developer. So let, I just click on that application, that uh, icon and let me share this app to the other code developer. Yeah. From here. Uh, yeah. This is my code developer. I already shared with him and make him as a code developer so he can edit and make some changes on that. So it has already been there and now if I go down and logged in with that user, so here I'm already logged in here as a Gagan. So he's the other developer who can work on this app and go to the move to this application. So here while I share that app to him, so this uh, my app one is already been here. He can view it, but let's say he can edit this app. So I just clicked on edit and let's see okay so here what uh, message i'm getting so this app is already been off with the chetan uh, user uh, which is the owner of the app and uh, once i whenever uh, whenever uh, once i save that uh, save and uh, close the tab then only this uh, developer can work on a same app so this is a pretty much normal scenario where we understand we can we cannot work on a same application on the same time so how to resolve this situation like you know so to resolve this situation i will again move back to the main app on owner app so this is me uh, and i'm the owner of the application so first uh, i need to uh, enable the settings jit setting here so i need to click on this settings go to the upcoming features click and just simply search for jit so here you can see on under the experimental tab uh, this jit version control setting is uh, is showing over here so I just need to just um, enable it. So before uh, just moving further, so I'll just want to make sure that please do not use this app, this feature. Of, uh, if you already have been working on an app, which is going to soon in the production or it is already been in a production because it is under experimental and it, it's slightly a buggy. Uh, some of the features is not supported like many to one feature, uh, which is I personally feel uh, while I'm uh, working with the multiple developers. So I am getting that passage in uh, some, uh, we are meeting this message like you know that multi-level uh, many to one relationship is not supported so those kind of things that uh, i encountered so that's why that's why make sure that please do not use this feature if you are already in, into the production or you're working on the app all right so i've enabled this and and this you can see this jit version control button is enabled let me click on connect and now we can see it asking asking us for three things uh, like uh, we need to provide the JIT repository, then branch, and then directory name. So let's get and let get uh, move to the Azure repository because we need we get these things from the repository. So here I already been logged in Azure DevOps, and in Azure DevOps I have uh, you know here into the repos, and in the repos section uh, I just need to click on this clone, and you can see I'll getting this repository URL. So I'll simply save it somewhere else in secure location 
click on now i have to click on this generate credit credentials and grab the username and then grab the password so team uh, make sure that uh, whenever you uh, get this uh, information so please secure, save it somewhere into securely into the notepad because once you moved out from this form then password uh, you cannot cannot see the password again instead of instead of that it, every time it will uh, show the new password so that's why make sure you save uh, your password somewhere in securely all right so i get get those things so firstly i need to add the url so this is my url i'll copy it save it here and yes if you're familiar if you are from coming from the dotted or java background so you must be aware of the branching because uh if you want to work on a multi uh, multiple device want to work on a same application so that says we we can create a repository and uh, we can have our own branch so this is something similar here also so i'll just add my branch name is master and the directory name so score so why it needed the directory name because uh, once we click on apply so what it does it just create one branch in, inside this repository and then it also create one directory inside directory what the changes of our power apps it will go into save inside this directory power apps code so that's why it needed three things now i click on apply and he's asking me to enter the credential so i'll simply pass my username and then i'll pass my password and now i'm going to sign in here all right so he's saying that directory is not found and so if i click on yes so it will create a directory for me in a background and yeah you can see uh my yeah you can see my my power apps is now being uh connected with my repository uh, this is my branch and this is my directory name and any any point of time if you want uh, your app to be disconnected from this repository so you can go ahead and just click on this disconnect button so it's simply disconnected repository and you can observe that in the ribbon button here uh, that uh, come this I new icon is created this is the commit icon uh, simply a normal uh, you know if normal scenario uh, if you're familiar like you know uh, we have uh, three kinds of things while uh, uh, while working on a repository making changes into the repository like you know push pull and commit uh, we have three separate options for doing these things but in power apps we have only one button here like commit what it does it just simply save pull and push request at the same time so uh, i think this is under the experiment this feature is under experimental fail but we i'm not sure that uh, in future microsoft is going to provide three separate button or they are going again going to stick with the single button but as we know the nature of power apps is a low code development app application so that's why i think they are stick with the single button and which, which is pretty much handy that i have used so far so it's pretty much handy all right so this has been this button is here and we have connected to the repository now let's get back to the uh, Azure side and let's see uh, repository side. Let's see what changes we are getting here. All right, that's great. Now you can see that the folder that I create mentioned in that uh, configuration steps on Power Apps. That folder is mentioned over here. So this is my folder, and if I just simply expand folder, I could see the several directories are there, and the most important directory is like source directory, where the whatever the changes, new things I am going to add into the Power App, those things are maintained in this source folder and i created one screen that name is screen one and if i click on that screen the whatever the changes i make on that that screen those changes are listing as uh, showing over here so this is the repository and uh, if i go to the commit sec section in commit section yeah from here uh, you can see let me, yeah so it is showing me all the what are the commit and uh, commit uh, things i'm doing so those things are also is, is uh, it is right now showing from here uh, all right so this has done uh, and now let's go and to the other developer uh, where previously this app is locked now we're going to see uh, right now once we have that repository is enabled and this have already been shared with that uh, developer so does he have access or not so i'll just simply click on refresh and it is loading from here yeah, it's power apps logo is showing. Oops, it's again saying it's a log. Now what I'm trying to do, because uh, most of what I observe, whenever I make any, uh, whenever I connect this repository, power app with the repository, so at that moment I need to save my changes, publish, and then I'll need to refresh from the owner side. And then only it will allow, then, uh, then only the other developer will allow to 
paper and that end. So this is something that I found it over here. So the same thing I'm doing here. So just let wait for the published thing. Yeah, it's publishing now. Yeah, and now I will just refresh. And I think here it again asked me to enter the credentials of repository. So two things here. First, we need to log in with the Power Apps credential. And once once we open the Power App application, then it asks to ask us to provide the JIT uh, setting credentials. So yeah, this is something that I have saved in uh, some somewhere and I'll click on sign in. Yeah, so it is signing from the owner side. Now let's see uh will it work on the co-owner side so it's a good thing that i'll just close this session and again click on incognito mode and let's see who it is yeah and quickly change so here you can observe firstly i'm going to log in with on the power platform and and from here I log into my environment then I will going to open the app and at that moment it will ask me to provide the JIT version credentials. So two things that we need to keep in our mind. So I'll go directly go to the app and this is my app which I shared with this developer. Let me click on edit. Yeah, it is loading. And yeah, now it's asking me the same thing. All right, so let's again copy the username and then copy the credentials let me save here and now click on sign in now it's loading so by this developer the other developer gagan is now able to open this app simultaneously on his own login credential on his screen and from here uh, he can make any changes so now uh, if you can see this is a co-developer and this is me the owner of application in the both end we have opened our application power app application where we could not able to open earlier without the JIT settings so now what i'm trying to do uh, here i want that the co-developer can create one more button called cancel and make its changes all right i've added here and let me rename the button name yeah button cancel and now I, you can see i just added this button let me click on save and instead of publishing i just need to click on commit so from here what is doing so here i think he's internally just simply uh, commit his changes and pull the uh, and push the changes into the repository and let's again go back to repository let's see us if we are correct or not and if i go down here repository and simply open the source go to the screen one and just simply search for btn cancel yeah you can see that the new button that i have added that button is now showing and right now it just have the text cancel that x axis is 470 y axis and z index those are the simple things are mentioned over here and now i'm going back to the owner of the application uh, and here i'll see those changes are showing me or not so now for getting those changes i need to click on again commit button and this time what commit button is doing he's just again it's just going to the repository and push and pull all the changes and you can see uh, this cancel button is not show is now showing over here and from here let me move let me make some changes from the owner side so i don't like this color so i'll make it as a red all right i okay i'll make it red and now again i'll just simply click on this commit button and again uh, now i make some changes and once i click on this commit button so my changes is pushed into the repository so again i'll refresh here and let's see my changes are showing or not so this is my screen again i'll search for that button yeah you can see earlier that the color is not there red color is not there but it, it is now it's, it is been added over in the repository and rest of the things we already seen previously and now again i'm going back to the co-owner side so and uh, here that changes is not showing so here i'm click again click on this commit button and this time it will just simply pull all the changes from the repository 